Hi guys, that's Justina from Justina Small Photography. Today I'll talk about shutter speed. So what actually happens when you press a camera button? The shutter of the camera opens, the light streams in, and after some time the shutter closes down. But why shutter speed is so important? So during the time your shutter is open, things might move around in front of your camera. So basically, the longer those things are moving around, or the faster they are moving around, the more motion blur you will see in the picture. If you're not sure about this, let's do one example. So take your camera and put it on the shutter speed priority mode, which is usually marked as letter S. Then simply put your shutter speed, let's say on 1000, uh, in other words, one over 1000. After you do that, simply take your camera, spin around and take a few pictures. What probably you're gonna see is sharp, nice pictures, um, depending of course where you're standing. If you're inside, they might be a bit dark. Um, if you're outside, probably you'll see uh, pretty nice, sharp pictures. What happens if you change the shutter speed to let's say one over two, which is just a half of a second? So after you do that, repeat the action. Just turn around and take a few snaps. So what you'll probably see is motion blur because a significantly longer shutter speed gives it more time for photos to blur out. So the longer your shutter speed is, the more motion you'll see. One more thing which is important to understand that when you use a short shutter speed, it actually also adds some emotion into the picture because it captures more details. What I mean by that, imagine a marathon runner. You take a short shutter speed picture, the marathon runner will be sharp, all the details will be there, it will be more tense and powerful picture. But otherwise, imagine now a picture, the same marathon runner, right? And imagine now if you take a picture half of the second. So probably the runner will be totally smooth and, and silky and it's gonna be not about him but maybe about action itself. So you could probably see how different emotions of the picture could be just by simply adjusting the shutter speed. So probably most known example of using a long shutter speed is in night photography. For that we usually use a tripod and let's say we use 15 second shutter speed. So it means that in 15 seconds, all the light which is in front of the camera will be shown in the picture. That's why it's perfect for star photography, light painting, and any night photography scapes. So your next step is to experiment. Just go out and shoot a bunch of moving objects. Take some pictures of your pets, of your children. The most interesting results of shutter speed probably will be with water like waterfalls, rivers, lakes, anywhere where there is emotion in the water, you'll see very, very nice differences between shutter speeds. So just try it out from a very, very fast one, like 1000 or 2000 even, to a very, very slow one, to like half of a second um, or even longer than that. For that, it's better to use a tripod. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, just subscribe to the channel and you'll see more awesomeness in the future. Bye! It's better to use a tripod so you avoid the shaky hand effect. Shaky hand effect. <laughs> what is shaky hand effect? By the way, if you are not sure what aperture is, just have a look at this video which I made last week.